professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. All right. Listen up, everybody. Okay, before we start the show, I want everyone to be real clear on this. I do not want a repeat of what happened last week, okay? It seems around here there's a, there's a lack of professionalism going around, a, a tremendous lack of professionalism. And I can't, I don't know what's going on in that production room with you people, but just so you know, I do not want you showing that video of Matthew Ryan Shapiro being clotheslined by Juba, okay? That is a close personal friend of mine, okay? And it's not funny, I know some of you think it's a joke, that man is seriously hurt and it's not funny for you to be showing that video over and over you, again. You mean this video here? What are you talking? What is that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me? Why is that playing? Why is that playing? What do you mean it's a mistake? Well, get, get it off. You people are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode to, of You from the Capitol. I'm Stephen James, being joined by Mr. Entertainment himself, Harry Turjanian. Absolutely. And we got a great show for you tonight, a lot going on. We're going to recap everything that happened this week in Capitol Wrestling. Mike Law taking on Bo Crockett in their third installment of this battle. Absolutely. And the introduction to the Capitol of our own Casey Navarro taking on Smiley in a match that a lot of people are talking about. Let's go take a look at that footage now. Casey Navarro looking for to show some respect. No respect given tonight. Ducking underneath. Caught Finally by Smiley. Getting a hold of. Arm drag. Getting him back, rolls through. Make a statement here in the Capitol by beating him again. Absolutely, and, uh, and uh, Kate, ooh. Taking off that mask, trust fund. That would make a Trump kid flinch. Shoulder. I don't. But you trust the man carrying a goat. Oh, the and goat's not wearing a mask. Goat. What's that goat stuffed with? Success here in the Capitol has yet to win a singles match here, hoping to get on the board. Going for the cover. cover. One, two, two count only. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a choice in that. That's the one thing they insisted upon. I don't know what pictures you have of who, but. And Casey Navarro going down low. Ah! Listen to those kicks. Fooled him. Oh, and a punch to the eye. Rolling through. Hooking him up. The goat's a mascot. Oh, wow. Slide. Back elbow. Stirring up the ire. Shoving Smiley. Spinning right into that elbow. That's got to be it. Find yourself prone on that mat for the high flying style. Monster Juba. Sunset and flip, power on one, two, and pride on the line. Both men nailing each other, going down, grabs him, pump handle. Oh, wow. Grabs him up in a pile driver position, gets him up. Inverted lock blower. Setting him up. Can he make it? Looking uh, for him, but wait, Bobby Orlando in the ring. Bobby Orlando. Smiley set up for the those I don't wear Looking them for the 450 Casey Se Navarro Ooh, a shot to the ribs there oh no oh look at the strength Gets of Smiley oh. Impaler right on the top oh top wow oh my god Ow. Smiley setting up looking to fly this could be it Smiley looking for it 450 splash cover one two three Smiley is victorious. Smiley, the tag team, one half of the tag team champions, victorious here in a fantastic matchup against Casey Navarro. Take the mask off. What? Take what? the mask off. What mask? I'm supporting Smiley. Look. Ridiculous. Yeah, no, I didn't mention the tie. Just, you, you, I don't trust people who wear masks. Stop it. And neither does Bobby Orlando, and for good reason. You got something to hide. All right, I'll take the mask off. You know what? On second thought, put it back on. Put the mask back on. By the way, the, the tie, it just, I didn't even it's notice the tie. Yeah, again, supporting Smiley. Where did you get that? Where'd you, what dollar store did you find that tie in? It's, 
It's smiley. It's happy. Be happy, Harry. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, Casey Navarro, even though, by the way, that, uh, this is a great jacket. Uh, how many of your mom's couches did you have to skin to make that jacket? That's, that's inappropriate. Out of curiosity. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, Casey Navarro having an impressive debut, even though he came up short. But the thing is, Bobby Orlando isn't going to be duped by any of this. He's coming up with a plan. My sources are telling me he's going to come sources. up. Your sources. My sources are telling me, as a journalist, telling me that Bobby Orlando is coming up with a plan. He's going to he's going to come up with a, uh, a a promotion here, an idea. He's putting some things together, and he is going to go after the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Championships with who? That's yet to be seen. So but what? what I, I'm, on I'm, August I'm, on August tenth. August tenth. Colossal, colossal confrontation. Look for Bobby Orlando to be debuting something special that night. Something special that night. We hope. Uh, Harry, I don't know what your sources are, but uh, my sources say that uh, regardless of what you do, August 10th is the place to be. Absolutely. August 10th, the Colossal Confrontation. It's going to be airing right here on Be Terrific. But before we get to the Colossal Confrontation, Torneo de Nada took place, and at that, we had words from the Bo Show, Bo Crockett. <laughs> yeah, Miss Christine. Tonight is the night that you and I, we put an end to the foolishness. We put an end to the idiocy. We put an end to the colossal Mike Law. They say that all great trilogies have to have a climactic end. And tonight is the climactic end for you and I. Miss Christine, where once we finally rid the capital of Mike Law, you and I can ride off into the sunset and enjoy our sweet, sweet victory where the Bow Show can finally rest easy knowing that Mike Law is no more. And then on August the 10th, the Bo Show, Miss Christine, the entire NRA get to show the world why we are the standard of professional wrestling today. And don't you forget it and don't you doubt it. What the Bo Show says, the Bo Show means, and the Bo Show intends to back up. This is the Bo Show, always and forever. Friday night, August 10th, Capital Wrestling and Be Terrific come together for a colossal confrontation. Watch as all the Capital Wrestling champions defend their titles live around the world on Twitch, including Ariella Nix defending her Capital Wrestling Women's Championship against Jordan Grace. The Capital Wrestling tag titles get defended as Smiley and Juba return to action at the new Capital Center in Harrison. 30 minutes, one Iron Man as Ken Dixon defends his Capital Wrestling Championship against the Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. And in the colossal confrontation, Mike Law looks to reclaim his Sapphire television title from the man who stole it from him, the Menfo Mofo. Order your tickets for Friday night, August 10th, starting at $15 at tinyurl.com slash colossal confrontation. We're back again on a view from the Capitol, and as you just saw, the colossal confrontation coming up August the 10th, but coming up just a little bit later, we will talk to none other than the colossal Mike Law. Yeah, absolutely, but before we get to that, something even more important, August 10th, that's great, colossal confrontation, but before that, on August 8th, right here on Be Terrific, we're going to be holding the telethon, the benefit telethon, for my friend and all of our respected colleague, no. Matthew Ryan Shapiro, who was brutally assaulted by Juba in the ring. You're not going through with this. What do you mean? Of course I'm going through. What do you mean I'm not going through with this? This is happening. August, August 8th, right here. It's, it's going down. We ha I don't have a choice in this. this is, it's not like I want to do this, Stephen. How else are we going to raise the money for his medical bills? Do you have a better idea? Just, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I would say let him suffer. You really are a cold-hearted bastard. I have you, just know that? you know that? So you're really something else. Well, I'm glad you don't have $2.5 million worth of medical bills. 
Well, anyway, I wanted to show you an update on what's going on, a little behind the scenes of what's happening uh, as we get the telethon together. Okay, remember, this is for the, uh, the Patreon people who are going to support the, uh, you know, all the, the fund and stuff, and also for the subsequent DVD of the benefit that we're going to release after August 8th. So, um, you know, I'm paying you good money for this. I want this to be good quality. You understand? Good. Check's in the mail. You'll, if you don't see it tomorrow, you're going to see it the day after. It's good. You ready? Are we rolling? Perfect. Perfect. Let's do this. Making of the benefit. It's happening. It's going down. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, okay, these people here, they can probably help us do something. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, uh, I'm gonna need you guys on board. I'm gonna need you on your A-game. Uh, Ian, I think it is. I'm gonna need you in charge of the guest list, all the celebrities, it's gonna be a lot of celebrities, so you take that into accountability. Uh, if you could help out with the social media stuff, post it. Uh, it should be a lot of stuff, you know, it's gonna be easy. A lot of people are tweeting about it already, so all you're gonna have to do is like click the the redo button or whatever they call it, retweets or whatever. Uh, if you could be in charge of the catering or whatever in the background and like the guest services, which is different, you might say, hey, that's similar to the guest list, but it's slightly different, okay? So everybody just focus. This is going to be great. It's going to be good for everybody, especially my buddy, Matthew Ron Shapiro, August 8th, remember, okay? All right. I think they got that. Does anybody know who the hell that was? Not entirely sure. So confused. Right, right, no, 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 no. It's streamers, then flyers, then fireworks. You understand? That's how, that's how we, hold on one second. How can you eat at a time like this when there's so much to do? Harry, it's lunch. Lunch? We don't have time for lunch. We have to prepare for the telethon. Don't you have any commitment? Hmm? I gotta eat. Ridiculous. Okay. No, I'm telling you, this thing is gonna be huge, okay? It's gonna do so much for, for, for Matthew Ron Shapiro and for me. I mean, I'm gonna be like the new Jerry Lewis, believe me. Once this thing is done, you know, they're gonna think of me, but it doesn't matter. The point is this, I'm gonna need, uh, like I said, fireworks, then, you know, then the airplane with the banner. So, I mean, it's, it's the whole thing. It's gonna be great, don't worry about it. Yeah, we got a lot of celebrities. They're gonna do it as a favor to me. Yeah, I know plenty of people, it's good. Hold on, give me a second. I gotta go talk to the production people. Yeah, I know, but you still have to talk to them like they're people. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the whole point. Hey, how are you? Give me a second. All right, what do we got going on here? Very good. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, we're all set. I want you guys all to be on your A game for the telethon, okay? I can't stress the importance of this thing enough. Personal friend of mine, okay? So I need everyone on their game. I think we all know and love Matthew Ryan Shapiro. So, you know, just be on your A game. All the, I want all the top notch stuff, huh? You know, all the swipes and stuff that you guys do, like there's, uh, what do you call them, melds or whatever? A lot of Chirons. I want the fanciest Chirons, the best Chirons. Uh -huh. Which one of these things sets off the smoke uh, smoke bombs? Which one of these? What is that? What is that? Is that on now? Is that on now? Right now? Yeah, 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 Jeez, come on. Turn. What's the matter with you guys? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we uh, will not be having any of those technical difficulties on August 8th when we do the you, actual telethon. You still owe me a bag of chips. You owe me a lot of stuff. You owe me time for having to deal with you. Bag of chips. How about instead I'll, do, I'll make a donation to the Matthew Ryan Shapiro Fund. How about that instead of the bag of chips? We got a lot of celebrities are gonna be there. It's gonna be fantastic, you're gonna love it. I'd rather the chips. Well, whatever, it's fine. A lot of celebrities are gonna be there. Many celebrities. It's gonna like be who? fantastic. Uh, Betsy White will be there. Bet Betsy White. Yeah. Absolutely. Betsy White, uh, Alfonso Rivera. Alf Have you heard of Alfonso Al Rivera? Do you mean Alfonso Rivera? Yeah. Who? The, yeah, just what I said. What I said. It's going to no. be fine. It's going to be a lot of celebrities. You're going to love it. It's going to be fantastic. Going down right here, uh, August 8th. Uh, right here on Be Terrific. We might even have, I heard, uh, Frank Sinatra Jr. impersonator might be there. Frank Sinatra. So you can't even, you have the impersonator. Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada's announced. Yeah, see, you have been following the tweets. It's yes. going to be a lot of great stuff. Eric Estrada. Yeah, it doesn't matter who. Who is it? A lot of people are donating a lot right. of time and just, money. Just, it's going to be a good time. Uh, it's for a good cause. The $2.5 million we're trying to raise for Matthew Ryan Shapiro. I won't be there. Um, anyway, well, You're not let's... invited, so... You're not going to be there. You're not invited. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. It can't all be about the benefit. 
What it's about was just, just this past week on Capital Wrestling Television, we had the third installment of one of the most impressive and improbable battles in the history of Capital Wrestling. That's right. It's the Bo Show, Bo Crockett, again taking on the colossal Mike Law. These guys have had such a history here in the Capital, and we saw a third installment. It got very personal very quickly. Let's see what happened Monday night. Here in Hoboken being a little disrespectful. Mike Law not waiting. Going right after the Bow Show. Is it a waste of time at this point? A waste of time? I mean, he's, he's come up short before. I'm going to out-wrestle Bo. He's trying to punish him. He still has a Captain Wrestling title shot in hand. Look at a fly here. Is Mike Law through the middle rope? Oh! But countered by Bo Crockett at the last second. Can. It's not his responsibility. And there he goes. Oh, right to that hardest part of the ring, that steel beam. Mike Law, of course, is one and three against the NRI. Can he get one step closer to reclaiming his title? Drop oh. toe hold. He brings. There is a reason he was the longest. Mike Law looking for it. Talking underneath. Got that neck breaker behind Mike Law here. Irish whip. Bo Crockett blocks the foot. Knee right to the chin. Doesn't want it. And again, Has not him letting again. him get, get to it. Punching him. Avoiding it. He's got to do something. Oh, buckle oh bomb. wow. You saw the back of the neck hit that top turnbuckle. Time to die. Up and over the agility of Mike Law. Crescent kick right on the chin. From there we go. Whipping him into the rip ring. Ooh, into the comic. Springboard middle rope. Caught him with that spine buster. Ooh, look at those strikes. Strikes. A certified symphony of strikes by Law, setting up. Exposed. You've seen this before. Setting up for it. Try Law gaining some speed here. Grabs him down, and these men is he's able to get him up. Powering him up, and down goes Law. Oh, Miss Not Christine. again. Has the chain wrapped around his hand. I mean, right Ref's in front of the referee the is a little bit bold here. Stopping him. Yes. Oh, oh but it's qualified. Bo. Kick to the stomach. Setting it up. Bo's got the chain. Swinging neck breaker and give Bo, put it all behind you. Ooh. And a kick, a counter, going up top, looking for something here. Definitely not his, uh, not his MO here. Went for the elbow drop, but he put the chain up. Miss K Christine right on the jaw. He caught him with the chain? He's got to cover him. He caught him with the chain. He's got to cover him. Turn him over. No, 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 no. Come on, ref. No, no, no. He can't do it. Not like this. Just roll him over, ref. Come on, count it. This could be a one. Two, three, and um, that's it. The Colossal are you Mike kidding me? Turnabout is fair play as the Colossal Mike Law gives the Bo Show a little taste of his own medicine. Well, he finally got what he wanted. He finally was able to put at least Bo Crockett behind him, but I don't think it's the last that you've heard of the National Wrestling Alliance. I think they're going to do much more, but really the, the big question is the next member of the National Wrestling Alliance he's going to face is going to happen. It's all going to happen August 10th when he takes on uh, the the, man, Mofo, the, the champion. man who who took his title, practically stole the title off the waist of the colossal Mike Law, the Memfo Mofo, Sapphire Television Champion, uh, six months at this point. Yeah, but it doesn't matter how he got the championship, he has it, the Sapphire Television Championship, the most prestigious championship in all of wrestling because it does give you uh, free admission into Sapphire's Gentleman's Club. But aside from that, uh, Mike Law wants that title back. We're actually going to talk with Mike Law. When we come back, we're going to talk to the man himself, the colossal Mike Law. We're going to ask him how he's preparing for August 10th and what capital future holds for him. Courtesy right. of the Be Terrific Hotline. We'll be right back. Friday night, August 10th, Capital Wrestling and Be Terrific come together for a colossal confrontation. Watch as all the Capital Wrestling champions defend their titles live around the world on Twitch including Ariella Nix defending her Capital Wrestling Women's Championship against Jordan Grace. The Capital Wrestling Tag Titles get defended as Smiley and Juba return to action at the new Capital Center in Harrison. 30 minutes, one Iron Man as Ken Dixon defends his Capital Wrestling Championship against the Bad Apple, Pat McIntosh. And in the colossal confrontation, Mike Law looks to reclaim his Sapphire Television title from the man who stole it from him, the Menfo Mofo. Order your tickets for Friday night, August 10th, starting at $15 at tinyurl.com slash colossal confrontation. 
a view from the Capitol back here on Be Terrific Television. And as we said before the break, on courtesy of the Be Terrific Hotline, we have our next guest right here. It's the colossal Mike Law. Mike, how you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, certainly want to be able to um, take a moment to uh, you know thank you guys, Be Terrific, for having me over here uh, on this uh, broadcast. First time ever. It was actually my first time seeing that video of the match with Bo Crockett. Um, you know, so uh, to me, it was um, it was really, it was uh, rather close. You know, what I mean, it was rather close in terms of you know what. Uh, you know, going back and forth with Bo Crockett. So that was my first time seeing the footage. And so, um, you know, I'm pretty... What, 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 know, what, was, what was your initial reaction once you beat Bo? Was there a sense of relief after, you know, months and months of going through this merry-go-round with Bo? <clears throat> uh, I'm, you know, I'm never satisfied. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to shoot straight forward with you guys. I'm never satisfied with my performances. I'm never satisfied with the way I am, the way I look, uh, all that stuff. It's, there's so much that goes into what we do as professional wrestlers that a lot of people probably don't even think about. So um, was I, would I satisfied with my performance against Bo? Absolutely not. Um, you know, like, I want to, I want to be better. I want to, I want to, you know, I want to be able to perform at a top level, and I feel like there have been some uh, some points in, in my career here at Capital where you've seen that, where you've seen some brilliance. But then there are times where you know uh, I myself just notice you know that um, just you know I have to control the pace of the match, of, and and for me I feel like that was something that's that was lost in transition. And yeah, while it is a relief that I did. You know, uh, beat Bo, um, especially the way that came out. I mean, you live by the chain, you die, you die by the chain. But um, I'm never satisfied with the way I perform. I'm never never satisfied with uh, you know overall as as a performer. Right. Well, speaking of the way the way the outcome happened for you, uh, you know, you, you you want to talk about the lead up to it, the the issues you had with Miss Christine. How do you feel about the way you ended that match? How you got the victory? Does it taint it for you? Does it matter to you? No, I just find it weird that Mofo and Bo Crockett decide to name inanimate objects under you know female names. Must be very lonely in the NRA. Mm. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, um, you know that whole thing about you know playing fair that that's that's BS, man. Like at the at this day, at this day and age, in this business, you have to you have to. Not, I don't necessarily think they take, take shortcuts. A lot more guys out there are hype than they are substance. Um, I like to believe that it can be both. But um, as far as, you know, the results, the results of would have been me either, either, either he is more clever than I am and he's able to find a way to beat me or I'm more clever than he is. And it turned out that, you know, at that last event, that I was more clever and I, I was more wit, you know, quick witted than he was, and uh, I don't, I don't take any regrets because if it wasn't, it, it's really kind of like you know, a, a shootout, a Western shootout. Uh, it's either you or the other guy, and you know what? I would like it to be the other guy, not me. Well, speaking of the other guy, I want to know you have lofty goals. One of your goals in Capital Wrestling has been to become a double champion here in the Capital. Now, upcoming, you have your Sapphire Television Championship rematch against the Memfo Mofo. What would it mean after all of this to gain the title back and then ascend on your way to perhaps something bigger? You know, and to be honest, uh, outside of uh, Capital, I don't know much about Mofo. Uh, I know, you know, he likes to take uh, advantage of, of the odds that's hey by all means you know do it uh, if you can uh, I prefer to fight my own fights it's always been the case I don't have a click I don't have a gang I don't have an affiliation with anybody I do my own thing when I want and uh, to me a guy like that he, he needs the NRA I don't I don't need anybody to back me up um, do I take on the occasional tag partner when the events you know promote as such absolutely i'm not i'm not trying to alienate people but he's the kind of guy that would rather uh you know someone else do his dirty work uh come august 10th there's not going to be anybody to do his dirty work it'll be him and i and what has he done for the capital title i mean you guys i mean that that's a question i should post to you or or the fans of capital wrestling i defended the title against everybody now you know i'm not going to go back and relay the silly bull you know 
crap with the with the intergender title because that that really wasn't supposed to didn't take off the way it should have. And the fact is, regardless, I defended my title, whatever title was you know that I had won and I had earned against the very top guys that uh, that Capital Wrestling has. You know, Bo rather um, you know he rather take the easy way out. Uh, I was taught better. I was taught you know work hard, play hard, but um, always you know give a hundred percent. Um, I feel sometimes that that I, although I feel like I do give a hundred percent, that I'm 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 just at the cusp of, of some something even better. So uh, maybe August tenth we get to see that. Well, we know August tenth. We're looking forward to that matchup, title fight. Uh, good luck, champ. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. And Harry, hey, good luck with that uh, fundraiser. Two point five million, huh? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of medical bills. I mean, the, the bills are very high. So, you know, yeah. I appear, uh, I'll Tell me be, about it. I'll be expecting your check in the mail any 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 day now. Oh, oh yeah, no, of course, of course. I'll, I'll have it, uh, you know, sent. Uh, I'll, have, I'll have it sent from outside the country uh, via email. And all you got to do is provide me with your Social Security <laughs> and some of your information. I'll make sure I get that to you, buddy. I'll, I'll get it down for you, champ. Well, Thanks. anyway, uh, well, hopefully down. you'll be there August 8th. But when we come back, thank you once again for joining us, Mike. When we come back, uh, we will be hearing from Portia Vaughn, of all people, right here on A View from the Capitol. Friday night, August 10th, Capitol Wrestling and Be Terrific come together for a colossal confrontation. Watch as all the Capitol Wrestling champions defend their titles live around the world on Twitch including Ariella Nix defending her Capital Wrestling Women's Championship against Jordan Grace. The Capital Wrestling Tag Titles get defended as Smiley and Juba return to action at the new Capital Center in Harrison. 30 minutes, one Iron Man as Ken Dixon defends his Capital Wrestling Championship against the Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. And in the colossal confrontation, Mike Law looks to reclaim his Sapphire Television title from the man who stole it from him, the Menfo Mofo. Order your tickets for Friday night, August 10th, starting at $15 at tinyurl.com slash colossal confrontation. And welcome back to A View from the Capitol. Before we close out today's show, we, want, we thought we'd want to hear from the women's champion, Ariella Nix, but we want to hear from somebody who wanted to take that title away from Corinne Mink, making her debut in Capitol Wrestling. And uh, Portia Vaughn had a little bit of something to say about that. Shortcake? No, I'm Kip. But I've been training for my match, so hold on, we'll get that later. To the ring! Hi! Would you like some shortcake? Uh, are you serious? Yeah. As a woman, you are seriously bringing treats and being this submissive creature and actually trying to offer sustenance to a man? In order to try to, to what? To have him accept you? To have him see you as, as actually a human being? I mean, seriously, what is wrong with you? That's all the time we have on A View from the Capitol. I'm Stephen James with Mr. Entertainment, Harry Tujanian. And don't forget, August 10th, the colossal confrontation is upon us in Harrison, New Jersey. Four titles on the line that night, Harry. Absolutely. Uh, we're talking the Tag Team Championships, the Women's Championship, the Sapphire Telvin Championship, and the Capitol Wrestling Championship. All on the line. Going to be a great show right here on Be Terrific, August 10th. Check it out. You're going to miss out on some great action if you don't. Friday night, August 10th, Capital Wrestling and Be Terrific come together for a colossal confrontation. Watch as all the Capital Wrestling champions defend their titles live around the world on Twitch, including Ariella Nix defending her Capital Wrestling Women's Championship against Jordan Grace. The Capital Wrestling Tag Titles get defended as Smiley and Juba return to action at the new Capital Center in Harrison. 30 minutes, one Iron Man as Ken Dixon defends his Capital Wrestling Championship against the Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. And in the colossal confrontation, Mike Law looks to reclaim his Sapphire Television title from the man who stole it from him, the Menfo Mofo. Order your tickets for Friday night, August 10th, starting at $15 at tinyurl.com slash colossal confrontation.